Today's episode, Top Copy Turban Topper. <laughs> Come shoes. Carmen Sandiego's mob of militant malefactors has marauded again. This time they struck Istanbul, Turkey. Begun in the middle of the 15th century, Topkapi Palace was home to the ruling sultans of the Ottoman Empire for almost four centuries. Today, Topkapi houses one of Turkey's finest museums. Amongst the riches displayed there is the turban of Suleiman the Magnificent, the Ottoman warrior, lawmaker, and statesman, whose picture can be seen in the U.S. Capitol building. But now, Suleiman's topper has been taken. That flashy, fleecer, Vic the Slick, always on the lookout for an expensive-looking fashion accessory, crept in and cribbed it. Your mission, Gumshoe. Out slick the Vic. Recapture the turban of Suleiman and then bring Carmen San Diego to justice. They've ripped off the goods. Now chase down those hoods. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. April Queen. Nicholas Henriksen. Faye Williams. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruiters. Red Lee. Good to see you. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Okay, you've heard about the case. We're going to start you off now with 50 Acme Crime Bucks anytime. You answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? And as always, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you. Chief, let's go. Greg, Vic the Slick has stolen the jewel turban, and there's no time to lose. Here's the profile on Vic. <laughs> A foppish fence whose fashion sense is a federal offense. And here's what we know so far. Gum shoes. A tough day of crime busting makes my arthritis flare up. So I reached for this. Lake Havis medicinal mud. Lake Havis is Europe's largest thermal lake and a mecca for people with pain in their joints. Visitors soothe their aches by soaking in Haviz's slightly radioactive 90-degree Fahrenheit waters, and they claim continued relief by applying mud that's dredged from its bottom. Now, Vic has taken the Ottoman treasure to the country that's home to Lake Haviz. Maybe he knows that the nation was once part of the Ottoman Empire now. Lake Haviz mud. Listen, bud. It'll cure your crud. Greg, I didn't know we went commercial. Okay, guys, name the uh, country, if you will, please. Is it Hungary, Switzerland, or Spain? Remember the clues that we heard? Country where Lake Haviz is located and once part of the Ottoman Empire. Everybody's ready? April, we'll start with you. What do you say? Hungary. Hungary. What do you think, Nicholas? I also said Hungary. Hungary. Faye? Also said Hungary. Everybody said Hungary. Everybody's right. Nice job, guys. Yeah. We're going to start that thing off, and uh, it gives us a little bit of time now to talk about uh, wh who you guys are. April, tell me about your dog. Uh, I have a, an old dog. He's about 15 years old, and his name is Rufus, but we call him Bushan, um, all kinds of weird names. <laughs> and he likes that, I guess. <laughs> Although she wouldn't do it. There we go. Very good. Okay. Nicholas, tell me about you. Well, I have one older brother, yes. one old, three older sisters, and one baby sister who's going to turn two this July. Oh, very nice. Nice to have you. And I also like to play basketball. Very good. Nice to have you on the case. Faye, how about you? Well, I'm originally from Oklahoma. I'm the youngest of six kids, and when I grow up, I want to be an actor. Very good. You guys have a great time today. Welcome to the case. Please welcome them all to the show, if you would, please. Sir. Okay, listen, you guys are off to a great start. April, you have 60 crime books. Nicholas has 60, and Faye has 60 crime books. That's the way to do it. Now, I'm uh, not really sure where our next clue is coming from, but I would assume that... Well, I assume that this here may have something to do with it. Uh, we have a bicycle here. This looks like a job for Acme TechNet. Let's bring in the boys. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Nice to see you. Hi, hi. Well, they work on this, let me tell you what we have. It looks like we have a bicycle here. We've got a sign that says, Fuerza de day pedaleo, which means uh, pedal power in Spanish. So obviously, we're looking for a city where they speak Spanish and ride a lot of bicycles. 
for instance, a, a certain Caribbean capital, possibly, where the government recently bought hundreds of thousands of bikes from China. So uh, people would drive their cars less. Now, you'll also notice that we have this oil can here. Okay, uh, now that same country used to get big oil shipments from the former Soviet Union, but they've been drastically reduced. Okay, so, fellas, that's the bike, that's the sign, that's the oil can. The only thing that still has me puzzled, then, are these uh, ropes here. I wonder what those are for. Oh, go away, please. Just go. Acme TechNet, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Gumshoes, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Miami, Havana, or Kingston? Remember the clues that we heard Spanish language, Caribbean capital, and government bought bicycles to offset reduced oil shipments from the former Soviet Union. Okay, looks like everybody's ready. April, we'll start with you. What do you think? I said Havana. Havana. Nicholas, what do you say? I also said Havana. Havana. Faye? I also said Havana. Everybody said Havana. You're right again, guys. Way to do it. I like that. So April takes you up to 70, as well as Nicholas and Faye, too. All of you have 70 crime books. That's the way to do it. For our next clue, we have a report from Acme Celebnet agent Dennis Miller. Listen carefully. Okay, gumshoes, check this out. It's around 1850, and the U.S. wants to build a southern railroad to the Pacific Ocean. So we stake out the best route, a strip west of the Rio Grande and south of the Gila River. It's part of Mexico. Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do? Find another route? Nah. Start a war. Now we just finished one. Hey, 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 why don't we buy it? Yeah, bingo. For a mere 10 million bucks, we get the land to build the railroad. You don't see that often. Countries buying chunks of other countries. Hmm. It's the kind of behavior governments rarely display. Reasonable, practical, and civilized. Thanks, Dennis. Okay, guys, name the historic acquisition. Is it... Gadsden Purchase, Mexican Session, or Louisiana Purchase. Remember the clues that we heard? Southern Railroad to the Pacific, west of the Rio Grande, south of the Gila River, and $10 million for land once owned by Mexico. Come up with an answer. April's ready, so is Faye, and Nicholas is too. April, we'll start with you. What do you think? I said Gadsden Purchase. Gadsden Purchase. What do you think, Nicholas? I said the Mexican Session. Mexican Session. Faye, how about you? I said the Mexican Session. Mexican, Mexican Session. The answer we're looking for is Gadsden Purchase. Nice job, April. Oh, yes. So that means, April, you take the lead now with 80 crime bucks. Nicholas and Faye still in there with 70 crime bucks. Very close, guys. Now, okay, that can only be one thing. It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions are about Victor Slick's most recent known whereabouts, which is the American Southwest. Again, they're each worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. The year of the Gadsden Purchase was 1853. Who was the President of the United States at that time? Was it Abraham Lincoln, Franklin Pierce, or Ulysses S. Grant? Nicholas. Ulysses S. Grant. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Faye. Franklin Pierce. Franklin Pierce is right. Nice job. Five for you. Question number two. The Gadsden Purchase added land to two U.S. states. Name one of them. April. New Mexico. New Mexico's right. Arizona's the other. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Question number three. The territory acquired in the Gadsden Purchase includes part of a desert. Is that desert the Mojave, the Sonoran, or the Gobi? Nicholas. Uh, the Sonoran? The Sonoran's right. Nice job. Five for you. Okay. So that means at the end of that round, April has 85, Nicholas 75, and Faye 75 crime books. Nice job, guys. For our Greg, next clue. come into my office. And hurry. Yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll be right there. I, I really not sure what's going on, but let me go find out. Chief! Hey, Chief! Well, that's odd. Whoa, look at the size of that bug on the Chief's desk! Watch it with this book. No, Greg, no, no, no. It's me, the Chief. Chief? That's you? That's an amazing disguise. How'd you get so tiny? The gang at Acme Shrinking Things Net accidentally shrunk me, so uh, the effects haven't worn off yet. That's too bad, Chief. I guess you could say they made a tiny mistake. Greg. It was just a little joke, Chief. Come on. Look on the bright side. You'll never be late because you know all the shortcuts. Greg. <laughs> Come on. You can always get work in the short order cook. <laughs> oh. That will be quite enough, Greg. Now, listen. You go back and tell the gumshoes that the one who captures Carmen San Diego will get an all-expenses-paid trip to anywhere in North America. <laughs> oh, that's good, Chief. A little wee bit of incentive. <laughs> You're making me mad, Greg. Uh, now, Chief, don't get short-tempered. I mean, you can always get to the movies for half price, and you'll be the last one to know that it's raining. <laughs> Greg.
Greg. Uh, 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 hi, Chief. <coughs> Go away. Uh, everything's okay. The Chief just had a, uh, a little problem. Everything's all right. Okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for the Jewel Turban and Vic the Slick. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Vic and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Vic, they're on to you. Head north of the Arctic Circle to Oyuatuk National Park. It's in a Canadian district. Jeez, Carmen, sounds a little cold. A little cold. Oyuatuk is an Inuit word that means the land that never, never melts. The ground freezes a thousand feet down. I hear there are no trees at all. Sounds like I'll have the joint all to myself. Nope. It's home to the Inuit and Demi peoples. It was named for an Englishman who got lost there looking for a passage from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Lost, huh? Uh, couldn't I just go to Baltimore? Sorry, Bob. Get out your polyester earmuffs. Okay, guys. Name the district, if you will, please. Is it the District of Franklin, District of Mackenzie, or the District of... Kiwaitin. Remember the clues that we heard north of the Arctic Circle, home to the Inuit and Denny peoples, and named for an English explorer who vanished there. Okay, April's ready, so is Nicholas, and Faye is now ready. April, what do you say? I said the district of Franklin. Of uh, Franklin, Nicholas. I said the district of Mackenzie. Mackenzie, Faye. I said the district of Mackenzie. Mackenzie, the answer we're looking for is the district of Franklin. Nice job, April. Yeah, all three of those make up the Northwest Territories. So that means April, you have 95, Nicholas 75, Faye 75. Nice job, guys. Now, we've heard that Vic the Slick have, has left the District of Franklin. So let's pick up the chase. The chase. Acme Technic, ladies and gentlemen. Here they are. Oh, are you all right? Okay. All these worth five crime bucks, you guys. Hands on your buzzers, watch the monitor, and listen very closely right here. Here we go. Vic the Slick took the turban to the capital of Laos. Name it. Nicholas. Hanoi. Sorry, it's Vientiane. He swam to the Philippines. What sea did he cross? Bay. South China. South China's right. He took a cruise to the volcanic islands of Krakatau. What country is he in? Nicholas. Malaysia. Sorry, it's Indonesia. He flew to Bangkok. Name the country. Nicholas. Thailand. Thailand's right. He sneaked across Thailand's western border. What country is he in now? April. Cambodia. Uh, sorry, it's, uh, <laughs> it's Myanmar. Okay, nice job. Sorry, that means at the end of the chase scene, April's 95, Nicholas has 80. Pay 80 crime bucks. Good job, guys. Oh. Okay, take a deep breath, everybody. Now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Vic the Slick is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's made a decision. Now, for our next clue, we turn to an informant from Acme Drifting Sands of Time Net. Watch. I hear Vix in an Egyptian city not far from me, in an area called the City of the Dead. It started about 1,100 years ago as a religious section, then gradually became a series of cemeteries with elaborate tombs for sultans and Sufi sheiks. These days, you'll find houses built right over tombs. Living in a cemetery might seem unusual, but in a town this overcrowded, you can't waste any space. Oh, while you're looking for Vic, try to keep an eye out for my nose. Okay, guys, name the uh, city, if you will, please. Is it Alexandria, Tripoli, or Cairo? Remember the clues that we heard? Egyptian city not far from the Sphinx, area called the City of the Dead, and houses built over tombs. Faye, we're going to start with you. You have 80 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 40. 40 crime bucks. What did you say? I said Cairo. Cairo is right. Nice job. <laughs> Takes you up to 120. Nicholas, you also have 80 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30. 30 crime bucks. What did you say? I said Alexandria. Alexandria is not right. You'll go down 30, but don't worry. This thing isn't over yet. April, you have 95 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Cairo. Cairo is right. That means April and Faye, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. 
Nicholas, listen, man, you are a great detective. You did some great things for us today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes an Atlas for World Traveler, an official Carmen Watch, a Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and to practice those tricks you learned at Acme Basketball and Optical Illusion Camp this handy portable glove. Now, this particular trick takes lots of training. Nice shot, Chief. You're my hero. Okay, guys, now what you have to do is go to Cairo to try to track down Vic the Slick and the Turban. You have to find them and bring them back. But, fortunately for you, we did not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> Dumb shoes. The folks down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides of Cairo. Now, have a look. Cairo, capital of Egypt. Largest city in Africa, home to 14 million people. The city was founded in 969 A.D. and includes two islands in the Nile. It has been called the mother of the world, the perfect place to hide the mother of all hats. Most of Cairo's pre-19th century buildings have deteriorated beyond repair, but these three Acme informants have found a well-preserved specimen to stake out. Don't forget to check in with our Acme food cart net agent. As you can see by the letters on his cart, he's asking the same question you are. W.V., where's Vic? Papyrus, <laughs> a form of paper created by the ancient Egyptians. Now, here in the Papyrus Institute, you could find reproductions of the Book of the Dead or paintings of the pharaohs. You might find the lavish old turban at this lavish old gate. It was a gate to the city during the days of the Roman Empire. Gumshoes, Vic the Slick and Suleiman's turban are in Cairo. Go get them! Okay, guys, here we are in Cairo. Set your stuff down there. Take a walk right over that way. Let me show you what we have. Here are the possible locations where you'll be able to find the turban, Vic the Slick, and a warrant for Vic's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so you can get the warrant. With the warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. One more thing, as always, if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Faye, you were ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Railroad Museum. Railway Museum. Sorry, nothing there. April. Uh, Cairo Opera House. Cairo Opera House. Nothing there. Okay, Faye. City of the Dead. City of the Dead. Vic the Slick. Nice job. You got Vic the Slick. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead, Faye. Cairo Tower. Cairo Tower. Okay, nice job, though. You found Vic the Slick. We'll turn him back around. April, go ahead. Giza Bridge. Giza Bridge. Nope, nothing there. Faye. Automobile Club. Automobile Club. The warrant. Okay, you have the warrant. Remember, though, Faye, you have to go loot, warrant, crook. You've uncovered it. That's a good thing. Go ahead. Cairo Bus Station. Cairo Bus Station. No, sorry. We'll turn it back around. April, go ahead. Citadel. Citadel. No, sorry. Faye. Tutankhamen Gallery. Tutankhamen Gallery. We'll try it. Oh, good. The loot's underneath that one. We always like to put the loot under a hard one to say. Okay, you have the loot. Uh, go ahead and get a free turn. The Automobile Club. Automobile Club. The warrant. You, ma'am, have the loot. You now have the warrant. Do you remember where Vic the Slick is? City of the Dead. Is he still at the City of the Dead? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. New warrant. Yeah. Nice job, buddy. You know how to nail that thing. Okay, listen. Now... <laughs> Now, what you have to do is put Victor Slick in jail. Here's the chain. Do it. Victor Slick's in jail. Are you excited? You should be. Okay, listen, we're going to talk about your next adventure just a little bit. First off, April, listen, you were a great detective. You tracked Victor Slick all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief. A gumshoes beat is a whole world, and world beat is the music for the 90s. So, we're giving you a collection of world music, CDs by artists from all around the globe. Plus, we have this CD filled with music from Rockapella, including our theme song. And we've all chipped in to buy a portable CD player. Congratulations!
Thanks, Steve. Okay, Faye, what you have to do now is try to catch Carmen San Diego. If you do that, you get the trip. So what we have to find out now is where you'd like to go if you get that trip. So open up this thing. There's the pen. There's the paper. Do it. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, now we have to find uh, Carmen San Diego. We don't know where she's at right now, but usually we get a phone call right about this time. Hello? She's right here. Just one second. If I got to make one more license plate, I'm going to melt my polyester. Go get Carmen to help me. She's in Asia. What do you say, Faye? Carmen's in Asia. Okay, so Faye, you and I are going to Asia. Chief, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Jordan. Saudi Arabia, Turkmenistan, Stan, Kazakhstan, China, Mongolia, Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, Indonesia, North Korea, Japan. Greg, let's go to the map. <laughs> All right, you know what this is all about. What you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through eight different countries, identifying each one with a marker. When you are right, you will hear the sound. But when you're wrong, you'll hear the sound. Now, this is very important, Faye. If you hear that sound two times on one marker, leave the marker where it is, come on back, and we will continue. But if you're right, eight times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip. How will you feel then? Happy. I think so. How will you guys feel? All right, come on, Faye, let's do this thing. Come on back here. We're going to get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you all. Your buddies are here to cheer you on. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Malaysia. Malaysia. Go, Faye. Come on. Malaysia. Do it. No, try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Malaysia. Come on, Faye. Hurry. Cheer on, you guys. Cheer on. Come on. No, come on back. Come on. Come on. You got to hurry. Jordan. Jordan. You got to hurry, Faye. Jordan. Do it. Do it. You got to hurry. No, nope, try it again. Hurry. Hurry. No, come on, come on. Japan. You know this one. Japan. You know it. You know it. Do it, Faye. Yeah. All right, come on. Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. Do it. Come on. You got it. Yeah. Indonesia. 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 Go, Faye. Go, go, go. Come on. Go. No, try it again. Try it again. Indonesia. No, come on. Mongolia. 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 Is she in time here? No, she wasn't. She got two and 45 seconds. That's okay, guys. Give her a nice big round of applause. Listen, Faye, I'm telling you, sometimes Carmen San Diego is just tough to catch. That's all it is to it. But remember, you got the crook. You got the loot. You did what we asked you to do. Chief, what do you say? You've done great work today. And we're proud of you. Walter, I hereby upgrade you. You are now... A sloop. Congratulations. Congratulations, Miss Sloop. <laughs> so, you know, now that you're a sleuth, you don't get to wear the uh, gumshoe jacket anymore. Now you get to wear the official Carmen San Diego sleuth jacket. What do you guys think of that? I'll try it on. Okay. Put it on. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Guys, what do you think of that? Looks good, right? Right? Looks nice? Could you do one thing for me? Smile really big. Very nice. Very good. Listen, buddy, you've been doing a lot of great things for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it. Do it. Well, she sneaks around the world from Asia to Carolina. Sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on the Gulf of China. Tell me. In case you haven't heard, this school year, many of our youth programs have changed to a new time slot. For instance, you can now see Sesame Street every weekday morning at 9. To get a complete lineup of our children's programs, consult your newspaper listings or our handy program guide, Signal 56. Carmen San Diego. Carmen. 
speaking for where in the world is Carmen San Diego and remember no matter how you squirm or squeal we will catch you when you steal all contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance all geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded <laughs> Lots of seeds. Whoa. 